I've recently been made aware of the ITX Llama project, which is an open source motherboard by Ivan Bowler that has been designed to run late DOS to early Windows 98 software. I have a lot of interest in that era of PC gaming, so I was excited to hear about this board. So how does this project achieve its results? Let's talk about the CPU first. It is powered by Vortex 86 system on module with 128 megabytes of RAM. This module has an x86 compatible CPU that can be clocked from 100 to 500 megahertz. It is estimated that you will get the performance equivalent of a Pentium 233 megahertz MMX CPU. This is plenty of power for any DOS game and most Windows 98 games. There are also BIOS options to slow the machine further down for older speed sensitive games. Sound output is provided through a Crystal CS4237B chip that provides AdLib, Sound Blaster Pro 2, and Windows Sound System compatibility. If you're a purist for a real OPL3 chip, then you also have the option of installing one via one of the expansion ports. There's also a wavetable connector if you want sampled playback. Another option for sampled MIDI playback is using the 40 pin expansion port to plug in a Raspberry Pi running the MT32 Pi firmware. This lets you emulate classic Roland sound modules or use your own sound samples. For graphics, there is an AGP slot. This means that you will have to source your own graphics card. This shouldn't be an issue because there are plenty of AGP graphics cards that you can find on eBay that are compatible with Windows 98 and DOS, and you can get them very cheap. For storage, there is a micro SD card slot that will mount as a hard drive. And if you yearn for that hard disk clicking sound, the board has a clicker to mimic the mechanical hard drive sound. There are also other ports to connect the CD-ROM drive or SSD. Unfortunately, this board is not for sale, but it is open source so anyone can send the appropriate files to a service like PCBWay or JLBPCB to have it created. There was a group buy about a year ago, but that has come and gone. Now there is a second group buy happening. If you're interested in this board, you can check out the forum post on Vogons to get more information. There is also a Discord dedicated to the second group buy. I just did a quick overview of the board in this video. If you want to watch more detailed videos, then you can check out videos by the creator Ivan and other videos by James McKenzie on YouTube. Their videos go over more features, installation, software setup, and testing. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button and its bell icon so you can get notified of future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll speak to you next time.